I just asked name? you to get off my wrist, man. Can you take you this right guy's here. name right no. here, Capa Bianca. Yeah. Everybody, get this stuff. All please. because they're trying to bully one of our church members and steal their child. Guys, okay, you're going right by, right inside the church. Hey, Pop. What? Or just sue him, that's all. I don't know what I did to get this. He didn't do nothing. They sent you a punch yeah, me in the face. Yeah, he came at me because he didn't this like Spanish it. This cop right here huh? punched me right in the face. I know. That I don't don't be punching us. Right. You you know shut what? your mouth. You need to back no, away no, from so us. We're not animals. Like We're not animals. We're not animals. Back away <laughs> from <laughs> us. Welcome back to We The People University. We have a very interesting uh, video for you guys today. We're going to see the Worcester Police Department located in Massachusetts um, literally attack a church pastor and uh, his son, who is also one of the pastors of the church, simply for calling him a tyrant. Let's just jump right into this. Uh, be sure to leave your comments and thoughts down below. I'm interested to see what you guys what you guys think about this one as well. Inside. You have nothing about it. Go oh, inside. that's my daughter. So, okay. yeah, I do have a lot to do with it. Yeah. Okay, so you, know, you don't have to. This has nothing to do with you. You done yelling? You done yelling? Are you done yelling? Acting like a big shot. We're all set here. You can go inside. No, you go on. You're not going to tell me what to do. You can no, go inside. No, you're about to be arrested for disturbing the peace. You here, tyrant. Let's get, get him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this guy. Look at him. Hey, hey. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, you're in a So as you guys can see, there's complete chaos. And it all stems from a pastor who has a daughter who is inside of a, um, a dispute for custody of a child. And so the pastor decided to stand outside and see what was going on with his daughter. The police officer was actually on his way back to his vehicle, but decided to turn around because his feelings were hurt because the pastor called him a tyrant. Someone calling you a name cannot drive you to the point of chaos. And again, I shared with you guys that um, on a call that I had to respond to, I was literally called a racial slur. I think it was around 38 or maybe 48 times where I, I started to lose count. It was just over and over and over again. And I sat, I, I sat there a few times. I laughed. Why? Because I learned that the no response is the best response. Why? And if you, if you allow yourself to get engaged to such a level, you do stupid things like this. If you notice, there's a, a lady, she's holding her little child. Uh, he appears to be, I don't know, maybe two or three, four at the most. And he's seen this cops running inside of a church, chasing or his pastor around the church. And just think about how many people within that church are going to be traumatized from this crazy incident. <laughs> Yeah. 
The officer actually stated to the pastor several times, go back inside. He never told him he was detained. He never told him he was under arrest. But listen to these charges. Because the pastor ran back inside of the church, as he was actually instructed to do, he was charged with assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. I did not see any weapon that this man had in his hands. I have no clue how they even put that on uh, the police report or even attempted to charge him with uh, assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. What was the weapon? Also, he was charged with battery on a police officer, disturbing the peace, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. He was never told he was being placed under arrest. The police officer just ran into the church. His son, the uh, also a pastor, was also charged with resisting arrest. All charges are thrown out. Again, this all started from, it stemmed from the pastor calling the police officer a tyrant. Let him go of me. Listen, buddy. Let him go of me. I'm going to sue this shit out of you so you know I do. This guy's been hitting me, kicking me. Yeah, I'm going to sue the crap out of him. Let me go of me. Let me see what he just did to me. Hey, I need to get off my wrist. I need to get off my wrist. What the hell is a tyrant, Joe? I What's just asked name? you to get off my wrist, man. You get this right guy's here. name right here, Capa Bianca. Yeah. Everybody, get this stuff. All because Please. they're trying to bully one of our church members and steal their child. You guys, you're going right by, right inside the church. Hey, Pop. What? We'll just sue him. That's all. I don't know what I did to get this. You didn't these. do nothing. They said he punched yeah, me in the face. Yeah, he came at me because he didn't like Spanish it. This Spanish cop right here punched huh? me right in the face. I know. They don't be punching us. Stop. You you know shut what? your mouth. You need to back away no, from us. We're we not we animals. We're not animals. Back away no, from us. Oh, really? For yeah, what? For what? For what? What am I arrested for? Yeah, exactly. Come on, what did I get arrested yeah, for? Get the supervisor here now. Oh, well, that's not how it works. We'll see. Well, stop yeah. touching me. Stop moving. You stop touching me. I want a, I want a, I want a real cop here. A supervisor. I want a supervisor. Oh, now you're gonna pull me up. Now you're gonna pull me up. You can't yeah, believe what these guys just did. Yeah, she's pregnant, officer. I can't even believe what these guys just did in this church house. Yeah, we need to get him up and then him. Oh. Which one do you want to get off our wrist? Big tip, we have enough guys now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How? We have enough guys now. Make sure my wife gets checked out because she's pregnant. This talk tackled her. Three men. Oh, it's a bigger. I want to get out of here. We have a paramedic to check you out. You get away from me. You've already assaulted me. Assaulted me, tased me, laying in the back of my church, this guy. Imagine that. All because he was asked a simple question. Tased me, you knocked me to the ground, and this guy's pulling my pants down. No, no one's checked check me out. They're waiting for him to calm down. They're waiting for him to calm down. I like my money clip and my money back. Take care of that. Do you need a card for the other guy? Yeah. I don't even, do you have his name or anything? I didn't get the other guy's name, no. Yeah, I didn't get the other guy's I was literally so caught off guard by everything that happened that I wasn't. I was, yeah, I was like, I mean, it was crazy. 
Whether you're into religion or not, we all have to admit this is horrible. This is not just about the re religion. It's about your First Amendment because his freedom of speech was also taken away for the simple fact that he used it. He was arrested and chased around his church and tasered and punched in the mouth. And his members were traumatized watching their pastor being pummeled by a police officer who was angry because he was called a name. And just last year of 2022, a lawsuit was filed. It is still in the process. I was not able to find any information on where it stands at this point. Um, the only thing I was able to find is that the family is now requesting a jury trial. So they are still in the process of suing the Warsaw Police Department. But this is policing in America. Always record police. With that being said, We the People University, signing off. Thank <laughs> you.